Hey YouTube, what you see here? My Ford C Max sales. It's to build a C Max lithium bank. Um, today I'm going to be assembling 240 amp hours of C Max lithium. I'm going to be using a few things. Uh, I have cut a piece of wood here, routed the edges, painted the black, just to help go against the cells to protect them from being compressed against metal directly. This is the steel that I'm gonna be using. This is some three by three inch steel that I picked up at, at a local um, yard. It does iron and um, steel work. I also have went to Lowe's, picked up some threaded rod. This was your standard machine color look. I just painted it black. I'm building this bank for my friend Nate, uh, team captain of FDZ Audio. And I want him to have his bank secured with C-Max cells, it needs to be compressed. So the three by three steel that I showed you and the threaded rods is gonna help compress it and you'll see later on in this video. Um, I picked up some Coventry Industry bus bars to be able to do this project. It's a total of uh, 10 banks to make a 240 amp hour. You do four in a, um, in a series parallel. So as you see here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are 24 amp hour banks. 24 times 10, 240. And this would be the side where your lugs go on, your positives and your negatives. And like I said, we'll show you that later on here. Now, this orange cap, they have a, you have to lift them up. You're gonna find a, a lot of these star bit screws or nuts. And um, I went ahead and ordered some new nuts, some flange hex nuts. The threads on the cells are M5, they're metric. So I get tired of these little 12 star bits stripping. So I just went ahead and got some hex to make it a little easier for myself and um, others. I'm using a little 5 16th socket to pull all the bolts off. After you get all the screws off that's necessary, you just go ahead and lift up. Just make sure to take your time, be careful if you don't want to go damaging anything. So this, if you look inside, looks like some uh, tin copper or something. It's pretty much like a bus bar for the factory uh, wires. If you see here in the back, it joins the cells together. Um, and because the cells are in a series parallel, or negative, positive, negative, positive, by it being connected, it, um, it takes it from 3.7 volts per cell and um, increases it up. It's a total of 21 cells in here. I can't do the math right off back, but these cells originally come in high voltage. Um, you have to be extremely careful when you disassemble these cells when they're completely in the original case. The whole case is full of metal, it's high voltage. Um, to break it down to what we do, you just have to be extremely safe. Um, I have two, mod you need two of these cases here. Like I said, a total of 21 cells, it makes a 120 amp hours with a with an extra cell. So you only use 20 to make 120 amp hours. And because of that, to make a 240, I need two cases. I already disassembled one. And I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this one just to show you guys what steps needed to be taken. So using this bit here, this is a, a T30. Just gotta take, there's a few screws. 
screws here. I'll show you. Oh, sorry about that. Cameras everywhere. But if you look, these take a T30. There's four on this side. And four on this side as well. Sorry for the shakiness of the camera and everything, everybody. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. This is my first time using this uh, tripod that I have. I'm trying to make sure that we can get a general idea of what's going on here. Might be kind of sideways and I apologize for that if it is. But let me go ahead and use this T30. And before anything, I'd like to thank Coventry Industries for my merch. They gave me a shirt as well as um, a flashlight and a nice pin for anyone who does a review on, I did a review uh, unboxing video of the bus bars because of that, they reached out to me and gave me the opportunity to get some merch. So thank you to Coverage Industries for that. All right, so one side is completely just a symbol, just take your time. All right. So now that we have all bolts off from both ends, just, uh, just kind of pry the sides apart here. Say don't do a tug of war match with this stuff because you don't want the cells to go flopping everywhere. There it is. Just want to break it loose. Once the top is loose, get the bottom. Yep. See. As you see, the cells are starting to work out a little bit. Push it, push it back, man. That's why I said you don't want to yank on it. You don't want these cells going flopping everywhere. And once we get these cells, be careful. It's everything here is metal. You don't want those touching the top of the terminals and shorting out the cells or causing a bigger problem. So with C-Max cells, they come with these spacers and Coventry Industries, when they put the, their bus bars together, they you have to reuse these spacers. So with uh, building a 240 amp hour, you need to put 10 cells it's gonna be in parallel. So you're gonna do all positives and all negatives together, 10 cells. We got one. One cell. So you're taking the cells from the negative, positive, negative, positive scenario. Then you keep all the positives together on one side, all the negatives together on the other end. Yeah. So that's one. Be sure that, this, that you reuse the spacers, like I said. You can go front, in the front of the cell and the back. Five, six, 
six, seven, eight, seven, seven. So like I said, right here, we have two extra cells from the two racks to make this uh, 240 up power. Let's put those aside. Now we have, as you see in the back, I have 10 across and all positives together, all negatives. And there's four different banks. So it takes four cells to make one bank of um, C-Max. And depending on how many you go up, it's gonna determine how many banks you have. So it takes four cells to make one bank. So that means it takes four cells to make 24 amp hours of these cells. Or if you have the smaller cells, the five, the five volt cells or the 5.5 volt cells, it takes four cells to make a 5.5 or a five amp hour uh, bank. So with that being said, you just continue the process. The more banks you, you add, the bigger the bank is. So I'm going to put all negatives together and positives aside. That's exactly what you're going to do. Flip it this way. Now you have all positives, all negatives. Same thing. Take your next rack. Do the same thing. Right behind the negative, you're going to do again, positive and negative. And take your third one. Same thing here. Right after the negative of this one, Positive, negative again. Then you take my last one, my last bank. Right after negative, positive, negative. So it's positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So all of these are going to be in parallel. Then each one is ran a series. So with that being said. I'm going to use the wood that I cut out. We'll go against here like this. Just, uh, just so it's not going directly against uh, the metal. Because sometimes this is nothing but film. Like a little green film over uh, this piece here. This, you know, sometimes uh, they conduct not a not not a lot of voltage, but um, some slight voltage. So you don't want it to conduct. That's why some people use um, some type of spacing on the outside or some type of protective. In this case, I'm using wood. Put one on both sides. Then 
as far as the steel goes, you can put it on the outside here, like this. Put the other one on the outside. And then put the, the threaded rod through. Or, in this case, I'm building this for my friend, and he wants me to put it in. Get a tuck underneath the bar. Not the fastest worker, especially with things like that, like this. I haven't done enough banks to be a quick, quick installer. So I'll just take my time, and especially dealing with lithium. Don't want to rush this process. So for all of those who are tired of waiting for this footage, let's go ahead and skip ahead. <laughs> All right. Same thing on the other side. Tuck these cells underneath. It's so much easier when you just put it on the outside. You just gotta put it on the outside, leave it flushed against it, and go. When you tuck it, you have to lift the cells and try to keep the bank the cells, you know, assembled together so they don't come apart. Yeah. All right, so after you take your threaded rod, right, just put it through. It's not lined up yet, so I'm gonna do all of that here in a bit. And um, as far as the threaded rod right for this, I cut them down to about 20, wait, 17, I want to say 17 and a half inches long. And I cut the wood across for four, bank, four cells at exactly two feet, 24 inches. Take your boats and washers and just Put them on there, hand tighten them until you get them, until you get everything kind of where you need it to be. I want to apologize for this video being so long. But like I said, I like to kind of take my time with things like this. Because I don't want anything crazy happening. Basically, you don't want, after it's said and done, you don't want to tighten these too tight. You just want, hand tightening them won't be enough, obviously. But 
when you go to tighten it, you don't want it to be extremely crazy tight. You just want to keep the cells together. Prevent them from coming out. cell set up for a while in my storage unit um, since my unboxing video that was last year in, in June so I just picked up a dropping Hertz car audio 20 amp lithium charger so I'm just gonna have it rest on that give it some time to fully charge so when my friend comes picks up the bank it'll be ready to go So once everything is together like you see, let's go ahead and put our bars together. All positives lined up. This makes your positive side. Take this, doesn't matter what side you put it on, it's all preference. This will all go in here. Just gotta bring the cells together. Just fine. And looks like here. Cells until you get the, the bars lined up just right. All right, so it looks something like this. Still on the side with the nuts and washer. I will right now it's only tightening by hand, so that's not gonna be enough. Once I bring the cells in, and of course you can see the looseness of the wood, I still have to do some lining up to make sure everything's good. But when it's all said and done, I'm gonna tighten these up just good enough to be so it won't be too loose. Go ahead and use these. Metric M5 flange hex nuts and put them in between each spot, tighten them up with the 5 16 bit. I'm going to be using my impact drill to get them all nice and tightened up. 
But this is pretty much what it is. I'm not gonna keep you guys any longer than this. It's already been over 25 minutes and I apologize for that. Also apologize for all the shakiness, but I'm human. We make mistakes. I'm still trying to get better at these things. First time using a tripod, <laughs> but yeah. When it's all said and done and everything's fully assembled, all your positives, which you see the red all together, this is where your positives go from your alternator to charge the uh, bank or your amplifiers to, to pull from the bank. This is where all your negatives will go. Nothing goes on these. If anything, you got to be careful because this is just fully aluminum. Anything can touch it. Some people put plexi over it or wood. Um, my friend, he's pretty experienced with C-Max. And all you have to do is just not have anything potentially dangerous that can cause this thing to, to uh, come up with problems. As long as you take care of it, it will take care of you. So this is the 240 amp hour bank. I hope you guys like what you see. Sorry to keep you guys on for so long. Thank you again, Coventry Industries. I pay for the bus bars. Um, in full, you can find some of their bus bars or assembled banks. I assembled this bank myself, and the only thing I purchased from Coventry Industries are their bus bars. But they do have bus bars. They have banks already assembled. They also sell um, compression kits, which are your threaded rods, your boat, your nuts, your washers, and your steel. Everything needed to assemble your own bank, just like I did. All right, everyone. I hope you like what you see. As always, it's peace and love. Thanks for watching.